Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back to Dungeon Tycoon. Alright, so last episode we were doing pretty good. Uh, we got a good tip in the um, in the comment section. Thank you, Red Dragon. Uh, in other words, pay attention to how much loot our mobs are giving us. Like, look at the Skeleton King. He's a prime example. He gives 460 loot. But then when we go look at the chest that he's got, it's only able to hold 100. So we're losing like 300 and some gold like per per shot in that. Especially when he's like killing guys and they're not going to get the loot, right? Um, and then also a lot of our other guys too, like the race, they, they have like 84 and the other ones are all 48. So I think for the rooms with the race, we'll put in like uh, more treasure chests. And at the same time, too, I'll show you something else that uh, he mentioned as well. So we'll put a second chest there. So apparently, in a build mode, you can lock these chests. So we'll just uh, lock this. And then I'm assuming because it's locked, the mobs can't, or the, um, the players can't unlock it. And I'm assuming this is how we're going to make extra money, I'm assuming. So I guess we could go around and lock the rooms that with the race in them and see how that goes. And if I have to lock more without like trying to piss the NPC off, you know what I mean? So um, we'll kind of go something like this and we'll try locking them and see what happens. Um, I don't want to lock too many of them just, just to see. Uh, maybe we'll do this one too. <laughs> <laughs> Screw it. We'll see how much money we can get uh, by doing that. And then... The next round we'll put in some more chests here so that way he can start stacking up some more cash so let's have a round at this and check it out and we'll speed it up so it's a little bit faster and then we'll do the first round together to check it out and uh, see how much money we're gonna get kind of curious kind of curious because he says i'm missing out on like thousands of dollars and i believe it if i'm not locking like some chests here and there to uh to keep money for myself i guess that would be kind of good and all the other ones i think have 48 um money maybe because we didn't like upgrade these ones either though so their money is a little bit lower so like so it was just the wraith uh and the bat oh the bat was 84 as well this one so we'll have to go and add another chest to that one That'd be good, that'd be good. You learn, you learn, you learn. I like when uh, people comment below and let me know some stuff that I'm not paying attention to. It's always really good. But uh, we'll see uh, when everybody gets to this guy here. He's gonna like demolish them. I forgot to change this room up too. <clears throat> we'll do that next, uh, next round. Maybe uh, give them a little bit more of a fighting chance by putting the totems down here. like he's just like wrecking them there we go <laughs> oh, these poor bastards you have to figure a way to get uh, get them stronger before they get to him because he's just like slaughtering the whole crew nobody's getting through oh with two crews they might you might how's this gonna handle is he going to slow? Oh, they got him. See? And only one person went to go get money there. Interesting. See, they took 20 bucks out of the 100 that was in there. That was interesting. And now it's full. Alright. Kind of seeing how slow this is working. Money's growing in these two. So is that like all money I'm getting back at the end of the round? Not just from what they're spending? Just curious. And the lock chests, well, these are like 50. All right, what might be money I'd be getting, I guess. Slaughter fest. Hey, they didn't even bother going for the chest. Wonder why. Oh, they did. <clears throat> I'm 
Maybe they wanted rest first. So we use survive the way out. Well, they got like a lot of gold guys in there, so they should be okay. Doing pretty good. It's a good group. And off they go. Alright, now let's check this out. I got one of these. Feel stronger. It means more money. Alright. Did get some cash, I guess. What else we got here? So this is all done. I should maybe do the legendary ones and see if we can get um, if we can get uh, some legendary heroes to come run our dungeon and see how far they can get and see how satisfied they are. But in the meantime, let's put in some chests here. Could do all four. No, we can't. All right, it's 450. Oops. All right, so we got uh, some more in there. We we'll remove these traps. I think that just makes it harder for the for the AA guys. Four guys. Get rid of that. And then we'll move all these totems. So that way maybe they get a better chance. Or maybe do something like this. Because they're always fighting around the door, right? Come on, give me that. Yeah, right, we'll see how that works out. And then we can put another loot box over here. <clears throat> Alright, let's try that. So, we made a pretty good killing that round. We are up to back up to $2,300. That's pretty intense. So, uh, yeah, thanks Red Dragon. <laughs> so, let's upgrade some of these uh, shops down here. So, that way we can uh, make some more money off of these things, too. All right, so I replaced these ones right here, and I added another chest to the bat room, and I locked it. So we'll see how much money we make this time. We're at uh, 95 bones, so uh, let's give it. All right, so now we got the, the legendary heroes we can invite to our thing to help boost our rating, which we shall do. Uh, elite monsters. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. I'll make it more fun for my people. And then we'll call upon one of these heroes. There's a one star one in here, isn't there? Yeah, we'll go with him first. And we'll see uh we'll see how it goes. So here's the hero. So this is the guy that's gonna come out and check out our our dungeon and see how well it does. So his satisfaction level has to get past this bar, and if he does, well, we get whatever item that he he had there. So he's going to come in and check the crap out. Hopefully things he's satisfied. Health is okay, satisfaction is staying the same. Oh, there we go. We just broke his satisfaction, so now we're good. Kind of lost track of where the hell he is, though. Oh, there he is, right here. So he doesn't attack the boss, though. He just goes to the end, I think. I don't know, does he? We'll find out. He's 
here now. Oh, now he's on his way back up. So he doesn't fight the he doesn't fight the boss. All right, well that's still pretty good. At least we got uh, his satisfaction. So whether he lives or dies, it doesn't really matter. But he's almost on his way out. Uh, so he almost made it out. <laughs> uh, and that ends our day. Yeah. All right. So we made thirteen hundred bucks that day, plus whatever was in the chest. So that was that was pretty good, man. Uh, I'm liking that. That's a uh, that's good for for money wise, anyways, because then we can go and change things out, and it's gonna be great. All right. What else we got here? Oh, more money here. Fancy tiles. Nice, nice. All right, so what should we do? We should save up for some rooms and then uh, make it keep going, I guess. And then maybe summon another hero. So like a level two. He's three. He's like two and a half. So let's summon this guy. Or can we? No. Oh, we're not, uh, oh yeah, we need to get to that star rating before we can summon him. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll have to maybe beautify. So I upgraded all of our rooms to 100%. Everything, every room is 100% uh, beautified. So that's pretty good. Let's go see what we got in here. Just that. All right, that's fine. I moved the dungeon room around a little bit and beautified that put all the chests on one side a little bit of stuff over here uh, we'll see how that goes i also upgraded all the rest of the guys to level two that weren't on level two so everybody's like level two now uh the goblins now give 84 gold so we'll have to uh, check that out i could upgrade them again and then maybe start putting like the bigger chests maybe like the ancient ones they're pretty damn expensive they take up a lot of space in certain rooms too but also adding more of those other chests would take up a lot of space right <clears throat> interesting well we've got lots of souls we'll do one more level on everybody so spending some souls later we got everybody at uh level three now so 62 113 yeah, we're definitely going to have to upgrade some of these chests and uh, see how that goes. All right, let's do it. Let's see how everybody survives this. That was a pretty good upgrade. <clears throat> this should uh, help our rating out quite a bit. We're almost at that 2.5. That's right, buy some potions, spend that moolah. Seems to have a good flow. At least when people are getting to the next room, there's monsters and stuff. Mm. Hopefully by upgrading the, um, the levels of the guys too, that maybe they, they gain more levels by the time they get to the boss. And then hopefully they could maybe kick its ass more instead of dying. Not that crew. <laughs> mm. This one seems more promisable. These are like upgraded guys. Next crew coming in to help. Well, there we go. They don't really go for the treasure chest, though. I noticed. They seem to leave them be. I don't know why. Kind of strange to me. They're all facing forward. <laughs> I figure you'd go all that way and you beat the boss, and you'd take the time to go and get the chest. What the hell, did they die when they came over here? That's insane. Oh, there we go. Thought you'd get through, didn't you? Where did 
just hammer it on him, eh? Damn. Like, that's, that's pretty intense, I'm gonna have to say. That boss is pretty tough. <laughs> uh, no one's really getting past it. So we got our 2.41. Anyways, now I guess we should concentrate on adding some more rooms now that we have everything at 100% here. That should be our next goal. And then getting the next bunch of type of mobs in here. Because <clears throat> I'd love to upgrade some of these chests and stuff like that as well. So now we got elite mobs. That's pretty cool. Now mobs have a chance of spawning as an elite. We do have just the respawn left on this one, but we'll, uh, oh, you know what? What the hell? We'll go for it. Now I'll just complete the entire page. Need a little bit more bucks. That's good. That's good. So let's spend some few bucks here. Let's go find out which mobs are the ones that are most expensive, and I got to put bigger chests in. Mm. Pretty much all of them now, right? Alright, well, we'll just start from the beginning then. Alright, so started trading out all the iron chests for locked chests. I got uh, three of these that are locked. I mean uh, the ancient chests, and I locked three of them. So we'll see how that goes. Um... Yeah, other than that, let's give her, man. There we go, we got the respawn pedestal in there. That's pretty good. Let's go choose the next one. So this should actually be all technically done. This one is technically done. And now we're on here. Uh, let's go bigger bags. That sounds pretty good. Alright, so what I've been doing, and my epiphany is, uh, we're going to put uh, double chests in all of these rooms. And we're always going to have one locked. And then the other one is going to be free. So I'll try to put uh, at least two in every room. And then that way we can gather all kinds of loot, possibly. So we'll see how this goes. So, we'll have this one locked. Uh, this one locked. And that one locked. And uh, we'll lock this one. And this thing here will have to move. Even though I'm locking the chest, it doesn't matter. I'll just move it there. Alright, I'll check out how much money I make that time around. All right, <clears throat> that was pretty damn good. So made nineteen hundred bucks that day. So this is the definitely the way to go. All right, now I now I totally get what he was going at. <laughs> uh, let's keep going. Let's keep adding chests here. Oh, that's new. All these skeletons just appeared out of nowhere. Oh shit, that's pretty cool. Interesting. I guess I almost should have had a chest in here for that. Damn. That was pretty cool, never seen that before. Nice, so we got more visitors. That's exactly what we need now. What else we got here? Bigger pockets. Yeah, I don't mind bigger pockets. What's this? Permanent attacks and defense buffs on heroes. Eh, we'll make them go faster. Very nice. Now our little buddies are a little bit faster. We'll be able to get through the dungeon a little bit quicker, which would be nice. 
And then now let's go with uh, bigger pockets. I like the bigger pockets look. All right, we got a little bit of money here, so let me design a room and... Uh, Okay, so this is what we got over here. I put a hellhound here. Got ourselves a new... Uh, was it there? A new type of mob. It's called the uh, Crimson Sky Drake. So that's pretty good. I boosted it to level 3. Gives us 102 bucks. So that's pretty good. Put a double chest in. Both of them. Got them both locked. And both rooms actually at 100%. So that's pretty awesome. So uh, we'll go with that. and see how we do. So another day complete. We got uh, more money from them anyways. You can hold more cash on them, which is good. We uh, managed to get to the 2.5. So now next day we can invite uh, this young man and get a throne. That's kind of cool. That's perfect. So he's invited. Now what do we choose here? Get more souls. Let's go for this. All right, um, 3,200 bones, huh? I think we should add another room. I think that sounds like a good idea. All right, so now we added another room to it. So I figured we're gonna come up here like this and then we'll find some way to use this room effectively to come back down and kind of zigzag back here like this. I think that's kind of what I wanna do. Maybe come back down and then come back up. And then by that time, hopefully, I uh, might have to do a few more rooms. Because there's a lot of mobs in this next section. Um, actually, if we just go to the bestiary, right? So, like, we're working on these set of mobs pretty much all right now. Which, there's quite a bit. And we're still just missing that spider. One day I'll get that spider. <laughs> Alright, let's check this out and see how we do. Oh, nice. Our hero is satisfied. Very nice, very nice. Got more uh, stuff for the guys. Infernal monsters drop more loot. Nice. And they're cheaper to summon, which is nice too. Let's collect. That gets us a fancy door. Ooh, fancy door. Uh, what's next here? We'll definitely take more monsters. That's always a big welcome. I guess we'll give the the guys a buff. They kind of need that. <laughs> uh, going through my dungeon is uh, it's pretty rough. Pretty rough. All right, so let's uh, design another little section here since we got three grand. All right, so our two new additions to the area. I just don't have enough money to finish off the rooms, but uh, we have a. What is this? Uh, I think that one's the elemental, and this one's a hell goat. <laughs> so I boosted them both up to level three, and yeah, let's just see how well they like it. All right, good stuff. This is uh, something the heroes are probably going to direly need, is a little upgrade for themselves. Uh... <laughs> well, we're making some pretty good cash, though. I'm, I'm pretty content with that. Let's go over here. A bunch of stuff. Marble floors. Alright. What else can we upgrade here? Uh, we'll go with that. And we'll keep working our way up. Alright. So let's finish off these rooms down here. Alright. So uh, I just noticed that the blacksmith is actually something that you actually have to put down. So I put one at the beginning and I put one right before the boss. So we'll see how uh, if that helps our characters uh, get through this a little bit more and not die as much on here. But at the same time too, it's a good thing that he dies because that's how we pay for all of our locked chests all the time. Um, I didn't lock these ones over here, and there's still just a little bit of beautification left to do on some of these rooms. Other than that, uh, let's just uh, see how it goes. Let's watch this one together. See how many people start using this. I want to put more potions here, too. Um, these end up being dry by the time the, uh, the thing is done. Every group buys right away, right? So... 
and then not enough money, not enough money. Yeah. Mm. Or maybe I should take these away from the beginning and force them to use the ones throughout. That'd be a good idea. And then force them to, to upgrade their armor and stuff first. And then... The hell? Oh, it's one of those loot goblin things. Yeah, I don't feel like dealing with that right now. Alright. Um, yeah, because then if we buy the armor, we can just up, yeah, get rid of these, put those ones here, have them spend here instead. Yeah, I think that's a better idea. Because then they don't have enough money to... Not all of them do, and I'd rather them all try to upgrade and have a chance to get through, right? I think that would probably be a better thing for for us. Definitely going to try that. How are things going up here? Because it's like getting them around the boss areas. He's like wrecking house. I don't mind them dying, don't get me wrong. Like... You need a good balance between making money and, and them dying, but uh, at the same time, too. You do want some of them to survive and make it through. I guess. <laughs> but he still slaughters, so that's... I guess it's kind of in a way it's a good thing. When you get, like, two groups in there, it's not so bad, but... This is going to really slow down groups, I guess. That really helped. Nobody takes any of the chests, I noticed. There's another thing here, too. Like, I got four chests in here. I might add a few more because nobody is even, like, looting them. They're just running right by them. So it's like, huh? All right. Gonna run right by them, then run right by them. But it's always on the way back. When they come back here, they usually get slaughtered by this guy because they're usually pretty weak. But and then I make back a bunch of my souls. So... If they do make it through the one time, they're not guaranteed to make it through a second. Some of them do, some of them don't. But still, pretty decent flow. People seem to be gaining a lot of levels. I hear the little doo 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 sound there a lot, so that's that's really good. The only problem is, like, these chests take up a lot of room, and some of these rooms are kind of small, and you're going to have to have, like, what, four chests in, in some of these rooms eventually, or three chests, because these mobs are going to be, like, worth, like, quite a bit. I know you got 200 bucks in each each room. Each mob isn't really worth 200 bucks yet. Some are 100 and something. He's worth the most. But the variety's good. I think the variety is going to start getting better as we, we start going through and that's going to really help with the, nobody complaining about variety. I haven't seen anybody complain about it since we put this section in so the only thing I, negative I see is that they're dying a lot. You're going to get your asses kicked. That guy is wicked. <laughs> Hmm. All right, so we're gonna get a little bit more money for mobs now. I can use a heal right now, which isn't too bad. But anyways, let's uh, do exactly what I said here about getting rid of those and forcing the upgrades on people first. All right, so here we got uh, a little bit more. I did all the beautification in every single room. We added a new one, and now we just get to add a new one here. So we did get a new one here, baby Drake. So we'll take him, and we'll upgrade him to a level three. Um, I did get another wolf there, but uh, I'll probably end up uh, trashing that one and trying to see for newer ones first, and then we'll do like... Um, extra ones last you know what I mean so that way we can keep the variety thing going on that way we don't have too many different ones and then we'll try to put in I guess doubles afterwards or whatever when we're trying to extend so anyways let's go go for that we're over the three star so we should be able to get another guy maybe should be able to get this guy no not yet 
All right. So another thing I put in here is um, the statue of uh, Tristan. It's one of the ones we got from uh, the heroes. We can uh, put an attack buff on the heroes. It kind of goes half decently far. Um, I was thinking about uh, maybe moving this over. Like this and maybe putting another statue on the other side. I think that might be kind of a good thing like that. So that way I get a, a half decent radius where these guys are like kind of covering. Then I should just... Oh, I can't afford that. Alright, so that's what we'll do next time. I'll put another one here. And then we'll just uh, turn the statues both facing that way or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. Very good. Now we got some more lava decorations. That's going to be nice. So using the other stuff, fire obelisk and a cursed torch. Cool. I'm starting to get tired. Yes. That's because up here we don't have another restroom. So we're going to have to change this. So one, two, three, four. This should be the restroom now. And then we can have another mob over here. So um, we'll invite this guy here. Do, do, do. This will give us a spawner of Dracon. Interesting. We'll see what that does. Uh, what do we get here? Got that. Uh, we got a treasure pile. Okay, so we got the last one here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now it's just collecting tickets for nothing. Now there's nothing left after this pile. So I probably won't collect these anymore. Uh, they're just going to flash in the corner here. Even though it's probably going to disturb me and get on my nerves. We'll go for people. <laughs> Alright. Um, let me just redesign this and we'll come back. Alright. So a little change here. I kept the original floor here. And then I changed out all the other floors for the first style dungeon. All the rest spots are marked as uh, this right here the marble flooring so every time they stop at a different rest stop they have a nice little floor the boss floor is going to be different and then we go into this side we do the same thing here and nothing was here now but uh, we'll do that next time and then they'll come through here so this is where the other rest spot is going to be so yeah let's continue Hi. oh nice the hero is happy All right, we got more people in our dungeon. Awesome stuff. Uh, dungeon barely had any worth of opponents. Okay, so they're finding the guy's not hard enough. Well, we can we can change that slowly over time. We'll take some more souls. That will help us uh, with our next endeavor. And then I think that's it. And yes, don't touch that. <laughs> All right, so this was a mistake. This isn't a rest area. I only thought it was a rest area because I seen that thing there. But uh, let's go and fix up this little rest area here. What is this? A cursed spawner that might attract monsters from beyond. Interesting. All right, so we got that one done. I put in these goblin grills too in two little spots here. So we'll see if that helps uh, feed them along the way and get some energy and all that good stuff. But uh, I think this will be the last round. So what we'll do is we'll put it on medium and we'll walk through it together and we'll see how, how we've been doing. Uh, probably even faster speed will be pretty good. I'll try to follow the first couple of groups that go in and see uh, see how well they do. Everybody buying upgrades, making sure they're nice and strong. That's probably why they're they're starting to walk through this. Which is probably a good thing in a way, but we can just make our monsters a little bit harder too, so. Buying stuff up. 
monsters don't last long. They seem to be they seem to be going through them pretty quick, so and they're leveling up along the way. We didn't even bother resting there. Still doing pretty good. Now it's up against the boss. Okay, so they're able to defeat the boss, so that's good. But they don't loot the cr the things. I might just put more crates in here. So that way we collect more money. That'd be pretty good. Maybe put two more here. And then two more there. <laughs> if they're not, uh, they're not bothering. Well, there's only two of them left here. So they don't seem to make it much farther than that. Let's see if the next group is uh, going to get farther. They went through the boss. I think they had a little bit of backup help though. Probably why they made it a little bit farther. Nice, nice. Alright, alright. Oh, I think they're doing pretty good. I think it's a good mix of death ratio and and money ratio there. I think we're doing pretty good. I think we're on the right track. That's for damn sure. It's starting to look really nice too. I like in the, the different sections. They look pretty good. I wonder how many people actually make it out. Not too many people seem to make it out of here alive. But, uh... They, they went back in for more by the looks of it. <laughs> and that guy died. I might have quite a bit of these guys make it out. This guy's running. He's got no more uh, stanima left. So that's pretty much all what they're suffering on. I think is stamina by the time they come back, but which is fine, really. They have rest opportunities. I don't think any of these are fully been used, but still well done, well done. Oh, still got some people up here. I thought those were the last ones. I guess not. Got a couple more up here. See how far they make it. Probably gonna die. Definitely gonna die. There we go. And then we got now more souls possibly. Which is great. Nice, nice. Barely worth any opponents. It's crazy. Uh, large energy, so I'll take place of the small ones, and then that's that. I think we're doing really good, so uh, that's where I'm going to leave it for this episode. I think we did really good for upgrading wise. Got a great tip from the from the comment section, which uh, was a massive help for upgrading our, our stuff. In the next episode, we'll add more chests to this area here, so that way we can make even more money from him. Because, like I said, they don't seem to be looting these things at all. Um, and we're going to keep going like that. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Peace, take care, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.